Okay, this record is about how to operate the spiral coder. So this is spiral coder. Uh, we code uh, normally code with metal. Like this target is gold palladium. Uh, Seventy-five percent gold and twenty-five pla uh, percent palladium. You should see a sample close to the center. You can see this area is for the spiral coding area. Try to put your specimen as close as to the center. If you put in edge, it won't be coated well. The specimen should be connected with the copper tape or double side tape on the stub. And look like this. This is one of the stub. Uh, supposedly, uh, every specimen should have a label. So try to gather them into the center. Okay. And close on that and rotate a little bit. Make sure it's fit. And all the wall should be close. This one you don't need to close too much. It's needle wall. Just close uh, gently. Everything's supposed to be off, and this should be in the menu. Okay, this should be zero. Uh, Sometimes preferred users sh didn't put it. Uh, after you use, you should put always in the zero. So you turn on that. Okay, and wait for the vacuum. So right now you turn on the argon. So you just turn on the, the gas. You can see the meter reading here and there and then close that because it's a high pressure gas normally the gas from this volume should be more than enough to make a couple of coating so you may do a spark coating two or three times you don't see the pressure drops so you can see the vacuum start building up so normally once it go to below 200 millitor we start to increase the argon, so basically right now we fuse the argon. We fuse the argon with a 500 or even higher. I suggested just a project for like uh, 30 seconds or longer. In the winter time, uh, normally the, the vacuum build up very quickly. In the summer, when you have high moisture, it's not that good. Purging with the argon, it try to remove the moisture and oxygen from this chamber. So right now you can see it's pretty much sealed and vacuum is already building up. So just wait uh, for almost 30 seconds. I didn't count precisely, but I think it's almost there. So that means right now inside here we, we have a lot of argon in it. So now you just uh, turn this clockwise. To decrease the argon, then we build out the vacuum. You could see the meter is dropping. Our target goal is uh, around 100. In the winter time, like this season is pretty dry, uh, it probably just takes uh, two minutes to get ready, sometimes even less. When to get ready, we can do the spider coating on that. Yeah, let's wait for a few more seconds and then we could start that. Make sure don't change anything on here. Always do the plate, not etching. If you do the etching, the, the carnings go to the opposite way. We infuse argon because argon has a low uh, ionization voltage. So all here, from between here to the ground is uh, almost 2000 volts. So don't play with the, the connector. It should be connected. Okay. So now we just uh, turn on the voltage, put it close to nine. It should do slowly. Make sure that nothing reading here. Supposedly because uh, right now in the in the higher vacuum, there are not enough argon to form the plasma. So we start to increase the argon flow. So increase it slowly. It's needle wall. Don't let it burst quickly. It take a little bit while to build in. Okay. So just turn it on steadily. Don't do the too fast. If you do get too fast, there are too much argon get in, and suddenly you get a really high current. We wish to get a current. So you can see that the current. We wish to get a current around. 8 milliamp. So now you can see the 5. 
keep it 8 milliamp for depending on what you are going to do. Normally 15 seconds to 20 seconds should be pretty good enough for most of our SEM observation. You shouldn't get a, any charging. Okay, so we monitor this. After 15 seconds, then we stop everything. So it's almost there. So we stop that. You can see the purple light in here. It should be should be good. Turn it off. Then turn this off. This to be zero. Okay, and then we vent. Okay, this is the vent. During the spark coating, this vent should be always closed. Okay, you don't need to get it fully open. Yeah, when air get in, and you can open the jar. You can see the specimen is uh, get a little bit grayish. Yeah, this is a pretty good coating right now. Yeah, you can see this one. Okay.